Hello and welcome to Climate Conversations. I'm Claire Nazir. Every September, as autumn arrives, the UK enters a new storm season. One question which is often raised is how much is climate change influencing storms in the UK? In this show, Dr Mark McCarthy sheds light on the latest research. The UK's storm season runs from September through to the following August. But why do we see more storms in autumn and winter than summer? The answer lies 30,000 feet above us. The jet stream is a current of fast-moving air that circumnavigates the globe. During autumn and winter, the temperature difference between tropical air masses and Arctic air creates a more powerful jet stream as they clash from the north and south. This temperature contrast fuels the low pressure systems that develop across the North Atlantic and track towards Northwest Europe, steered under the influence of the jet stream. The colder Arctic air means the jet tends to be shifted southwards with a greater chance of these winds being closer to the UK, albeit eight miles above. Recent years have delivered some memorable storms to the UK. The 2023-24 storm season saw 12 named storms, the greatest number of named storms since the first named storm season in 2015, from Storm Babette's flooding in October through to a succession of systems, including Kieran Debbie and the powerful Storm Isha in January 2024, which prompted a red weather warning. Storm Dara in 2024 brought unusual northwesterly winds that toppled trees across the country, while Storm Burt delivered the devastating combination of heavy rain, strong winds and snow to North Wales. But when we look at the data, what patterns emerge? To understand if and how climate change is affecting UK storms, we need to examine four key elements, wind, rain, storm frequency and storm track. First, wind. Are UK storms becoming windier? Here's Met Office climate scientist, Dr. Mark McCarthy. Our observations don't currently suggest that the UK is becoming windier or stormier, uh, although individual storms can be extremely powerful. The long-term wind data isn't showing a clear trend. Most climate projections do suggest a slight increase in the frequency and intensity of storms into the future, um, but if that's the case, we can't yet detect that signal above the natural variability in our climate. And rainfall. Is climate change altering precipitation patterns across the UK? We are seeing changes in rainfall patterns across the country. The UK is generally becoming wetter and largely this is occurring during the winter season. In the most recent decade are 16% wetter uh, than in a comparative period in the 1960s to 1990s. And we're also seeing an increase in the number of extremely wet months that are occurring. And our research has shown that human-induced climate change is resulting in increases in the amount of rainfall associated with storm events. And frequency. Are we seeing more storms? Storminess in the UK uh, has large variability from one year to the next. Uh, so, for example, the 2023 to 24 storm season was particularly active with a record 12 named storms occurring during that season. In contrast, just the year before, 2022 to 2023, very few named storms occurring. So the long-term trend doesn't show a clear uh, tendency towards uh, more storms or, or more named storms, but we do continue to monitor that very closely as our climate is changing. Finally, storm track. Are storms taking different pathways across northwest Europe? So storms uh, tracking across or close to the UK are affected by the position and the strength of the jet stream, so the large scale or atmospheric circulation. Um, and this itself is connected to climate patterns and changes in our climate that might result um, from human activities. So there's very active ongoing research into how climate change might affect the jet stream. But the UK's position and our geography means that um, we will continue to experience storms as a fundamental part of our climate. While individual storm winds may not be increasing, other changes are amplifying storm impacts. Sea level rise around the UK is accelerating, making the risk of coastal flooding during storms more likely. The most extreme sea levels in 2024 were associated with Storm Kathleen, 
which coincided with spring tides and was influenced by high background mean sea levels. We are witnessing fewer colder nights, with milder air dominating more often. Warmer air holds more moisture, potentially intensifying rainfall during storm events and increasing the hazard from combined high wind and driving rain. We tend to get fewer named storms through the summer, but the risk of torrential rain during localised showers and thunderstorms is increasing. More about that another time. Understanding how our climate is changing helps us prepare more effectively. Each September, as the storm season begins, the Met Office continues to monitor and forecast weather patterns and, with support from the public, names the storms that shape our weather. Naming storms plays a vital role in raising awareness of severe conditions and helping people protect themselves, their property and their businesses. Because in a changing climate, being prepared and adapting for the future has never been more important.